Welcome to the Bluecoat Proxy SG First Steps tutorial. This tutorial describes how to control users' access to web content. Web URLs can be grouped into various categories, such as social networking, gambling, pornography, news media, and shopping. The Proxy SG is able to analyze URLs that users request, determine to which category the website belongs, and restrict access to the categories that your organization deems inappropriate or a potential threat to your network. Controlling users' access to web content involves configuring Bluecoat Web Filter, an on-box content filtering database, as well as configuring policy for URL categories. This solution assumes that you have HTTP and or HTTPS services set to intercept. To do this, in the Management Console, select Configuration, Services, Proxy Services. Under Predefined Service Groups, expand the Standard Group. Locate the service you want to set to intercept. From the drop-down menu next to the service, select Intercept. To control access to websites and web applications, you need to enable Bluecoat Web Filter and download the database. First, confirm that you have a Proxy Edition license, not a Mach 5 license. The license name appears in the banner of the Management Console. To enable Bluecoat Web Filter, in the Management Console, select Configuration, Content Filtering, General. Select the checkbox in the Enable column and click Apply. To download the Bluecoat Web Filter database, select Configuration, Content Filtering, Bluecoat Web Filter. If you have registered your appliance, the URL should appear in the URL text field. Click Download Now. You can check the progress of the download by clicking View Download Status. Bluecoat's WebPulse provides an off-box dynamic categorization service for real-time categorization of URLs that are not rated or categorized in the on-box Bluecoat Web Filter database. This cloud service blocks malware hosts, rates web content, and provides dynamic categorization. The WebPulse cloud service is enabled by default when you use Bluecoat Web Filter. To configure WebPulse, in the Proxy SG Management Console, select Configuration, Threat Protection, WebPulse. Ensure that the WebPulse service checkbox is selected. And ensure the Perform Dynamic Categorization checkbox is selected. Then select your preference for performing dynamic categorization. Immediately, this categorizes in real time and waits for the result before proceeding to a requested URL. Or in the background. WebPulse runs in the background without waiting for a response when a URL is requested. The response from WebPulse is placed into the categorization cache so that when another user requests the same URL, WebPulse will not process the URL again. The Bluecoat Web Filter database contains a read-only list of available categories. Before setting policies to block categories, you should review the list to determine which categories you want to restrict. Select Configuration, Content Filtering, General. Click View Categories. The list displays in a new window. If you want to find out to which category a URL belongs, you can test it by entering the URL in the URL text field and clicking Test. You must create policy rules for each category you want to block. Use the Visual Policy Manager, or VPM, to create your policy rules. First, verify that the default proxy policy is set to Allow by selecting Configuration, Policy, Policy Options. Next, launch the VPM by selecting Configuration, Policy, Visual Policy Manager, Launch. The VPM opens in a new window. In the VPM, select Policy, Add Web Access Layer. 
give the web access layer a unique name, such as blocked categories. In the destination column of the new rule, right click and select Set. Click New, and in the drop down list, select Request URL Category. Expand the Blue Coat folder. Select the categories you would like to block. Give the category object a unique name. Click OK and then OK again. Click Install Policy. Now, when users attempt to browse to the block site, access is denied. Some categories, such as malicious sources, should be blocked at all times of the day, while less dangerous categories, such as radio audio streams, can be blocked during business hours only. As an example, to allow employees to stream radio after business hours, do the following. Click Add Rule. Right-click in the Destination field of the new rule and select Set. Click New. In the drop-down list, select Request URL Category once again. Expand the Blue Coat folder and select Radio Audio Streams. Name the new object, click OK, and OK again. Now right-click in the Time column and select Set. In the dialog, select New, Time. In this dialog, give your time object a descriptive name, such as Business Hours. Enter the time interval you would like to restrict Click OK and OK again. Finally, make sure the Action field is set to Deny and click Install Policy. To learn more about the most effective ways of deploying and using a Proxy SG appliance to secure your network, visit the Bluecoat Proxy SG First Steps web guide, available at Bluetouch online. For comments or suggestions on this tutorial, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.